San Juan Knights. They will be looking to vent out all their vengeance on Louis Vigil and the Bacolod City of Pampanga. So you have to do a better job of trying to be better on the stat lines for this game. Uh, excellent adjustment there and the deceleration. Fake to get the defense off guard. It's going to be a platoon substitution. You have to be up to it uh, if you want to compete. A vigil trying to make a move against ito si Jemo Egilos. Any adversity that they have right in front of them. And that's just an incredible pep talk. And yeah, I would also like to touch on the pride that Ivan Ludovice has. Yan talaga ang kailangan mong patuloy na ipakita. Eh. Right. As you go on in your career, hindi pwedeng that add up to their rosters uh, next season. I guess nga, coach, sa mga pick-up games, pag makita mong oh. medyo dehado ka, mas gaganahan ka pa nga, oh, di ba? Correct. correct. Uh, Louis Vigil is truly exuding that kind of attitude and right And doing now. so much better. And he watches teammates involved on the floor. He can't do this alone. Louis Vigil against the younger Archie Concepcion. The Concepcion gets the better of that matchup. Joe Gomez de Liano lays it in for the back down from this mm -hmm. challenge. Sila naman ang nagsabi na, okay, let's bring it on. Yeah. And their shooting percentage right now, what, 54%? Uh, roughly, and that, that's pretty good if you're going up against the defending champions. Actually, 60. Now with Louis Vigil, Cedillo offering the roadblock. Vigil gets free from the initial defender. Pardo with six on the shot clock. Back to Vigil. Looks Catch good. and fire. Yeah. That is good. Rattling at home. Louis Vigil. How many points does he have? Just started turning in favor of uh, Bacolo with the shooting by Louis Vigil. Yeah, Matt De Leon had the string of... Especially the Northern Division. Just like this game between Bacolod and Pampanga. Of course, the Giant Lanterns trying to regain the top spot in that division. But Bacolod making them have a hard time in that first quarter. We're now here in the second period. And the string of baskets just continue. In this game of Pampanga, they're going to go up against Abra and Quezon. Those are two tough matches. So go story. You just saw 10 out of 27 para sa Pampanga. That's really good mix para dito sa Bacolod. And the efficiency of quick drive. Well defended by Egilos. Gomez Deliano, look out below! <laughs> Almost a slam there para kay Joe GDL. But cleaning up the mess was the Royal Bazooka, Archie Concepcion. Very important. Look at that elevation. Nadulas lang ang oh, Nadulas lang talaga eh. But still... A basket para sa Pampanga. Coach Pedic de Batula, Coach uh, Governor Delta Pineda. Has Pampanga with a chance again to regain the lead. Rayson in out behind the back. The pass to the left side. Concepcion uh, once again puts it back in. He has had a lot of offensive. Athletically by Pampanga Giant Lanterns are so much better than how they started this game. I mean, they mean business. They want to close out this half stronger than how they did in the game against San Juan. Typical Giant Lantern game na ito, but still, you gotta be very efficient. And, you know, right there, this has 11 points in 5 minutes of gameplay para dito sa Pampanga are defending champions on the other side. Louis Vigil already having half of his total from the last game with 16 sides still to go inside for that attempt. Vigil has Balti. The stretch with the left hand. That's two points more para kay Louis Vigil. His open floor basketball right now. Back and forth between these two teams trying to exploit the uh, fast break. Up. No, I'm going to make sure that I try and lead the pack for the Giant Lanterns. It was... Every time you get that stop, you got to produce the other way, just like this one. Louis Vigil. Game, obviously. Sabi niya, ako, third and fourth na lang ako nakagawa. Kahit sila Kurt and Archie off game, they all weren't able to stop Orlan Wamar. So sabi niya, dahil nga hirap ang backcourt on that day, hindi sila nag-workout sa mga tres nila sa labas, sumikip ang ilalim sa akin. One thing he will be more wary about getting into the playoffs, but... Before... Joe Gomez de Liano is in the game as well as Archie Concepcion. Ronan Santos is also back para sa Pampanga. Strong drive by Joe GDL and he gets it. Oh. They, they, they had 80 with, uh, I believe, around mm -hmm. six, five minutes to go. Right. <laughs> Pero ngayon, ang dami pa nating oras. 
And then they are now at the 100, talking about the defending champs. Archie Concepcion now making a move against Ivan Ludovice. What a getaway right there to score inside for the Royal Bazooka. The scoring from the corner, that was a three-pointer para sa kanya. Jojo Antiporda has been doing a lot. That really is the, the real deal when it comes to making that back-to-back uh, -back, uh, opportunity. Beautiful control on that attempt. Free willing action for the Giant Lanterns. The defense has become porous and you know, they just kept attacking. Behind the Pampanga bench. And the offensive rebound is 22 versus 3. The entire third quarter, Bacolod never got an offensive rebound after those uh, in, the, in the first half. Ramirez now has eight points and five rebounds. Vigil isolated against Wilson Baltazar. Puts it up with one hand. That's 29 points in the game para kay Louis Vigil. Talk about dominance, Javi. You just saw team owner Aurelio A.G. Gonzalez III of the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Louis Vigil, a little step back. Chumper is good. Uh, Louis Vigil at least has been consistent. In terms of his percentage, senior board member Mika Gonzalez, Governor Delta Pineda, Vice Governor Nanay Pineda, board member Mylene Pineda, Mayor Esme P. 